Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie to nine eight eight coming at you live once again, and I uh, I want to talk to you today about a fairly down topic, and that's the the Sandy Hook shootings. I had maintained a silence about it up until today for a variety of different reasons, the majority of which was I didn't want to give this guy any more power over us than he already has. You see, when somebody does what he's done. Um, they do it because they're sick of this planet, they're sick of this life, they're miserable, they're unhappy, they don't want to be here anymore, and so they choose to check out early. Except they're not happy with just ending their own lives, they decide to take as many people with them as they can. And every time we talk about this guy, every time we remember that day, every time we circle it, we give this guy exactly what he wanted, and I didn't want to do that. But someone mentioned last night that I'm not just an entertainer and I'm not just here to make you laugh, but I'm also here to make you think. And there's something I want you to think about today if you'd help me out. Um, you see, I'm a gamer. And I've been a gamer the entire 38 years I've been on this planet. I've been gaming since I was a very little kid. And I, I like kid games a lot, by the way. I, I play Mario Brothers and Nintendo Land and all that stuff, you know. Kirby's Epic Yarn. I love those games. But I, I do like violent video games too. I've been playing Far Cry 3 lately. I've been playing Assassin's Creed 3. I've, I've been playing Borderlands 2. These games are very, very violent. And in these games, you do some terrible stuff. You ruin a bad guy's day. You blow them all to pieces. You stab them, you cut them, you shoot them. And recently, a senator in West Virginia, Senator Jay Rockefeller, I, that's his actual name, has proposed legislation to study the effects of violent video games on kids. And I think we need to talk about that for just a minute. Personally, I enjoy these violent video games, and I'm the kind of person that probably should have perpetrated violence. You see, when I was a kid, I had violence performed on me at a very, very young age. Many many times, not once a year, not once a month, not once a week, but on an almost daily basis. I was hurt mentally and physically over and over again, and statistically, likelihood was that I would perform those acts again, that I would repeat that cycle that I would find some woman and beat the living hell out of her, that I would torture her, that I would have kids and I would beat them. I would pick up a gun one day, point it towards somebody else, and point it towards myself. And I didn't. And I've been playing violent video games since I was very, very young. Uh, very first violent video game I ever played was Mortal Kombat that I can really remember. And I mean, that game was vile at the time. And even the more recent ones are just as violent, just as awful. I have it in there on my PlayStation 3 right now with the Bone Breaker X-ray moves and stuff. It's awful, man. It's just awful. But I can tell you from a personal experience, cracking a bottle over the head of somebody in a video game or having it done to you inside a video game is very, very different of having it done to you in real life. One of those big 16-ounce returnable Pepsi bottles they used in the 80s, you know? Having one of those smacked against the front of your head, that causes a concussion, man. It's different. It's, it's not the same. And in fact, if you look at the research, my personal story aside, if you look at the research, they will actually show that there is no negative effect on young people or adults in playing these video games. And especially the video games that this guy was playing. Mass Effect 3? Starcraft? These are murder simulators? Are you fucking kidding me? Maybe, okay, I guess if he killed a bunch of aliens, then we could say Starcraft 3 prepared, Starcraft 2 prepared him for what he did. But that said, all that aside, if you look at the studies, if you look at the statistics, if you look at the numbers, Violent video games are having no appreciable effect on us. And in fact, recent studies have shown us that video games can be therapeutic, as therapeutic as actual therapy for people suffering depression and anxiety and other mental illness. So, 
when Jay Rockefeller wants to study this, he's wasting our taxpayer money because it has been studied. And we have 15 years of empirical data since the first violent video games appeared. The first Grand Theft Autos, the first Halos, the first Call of Duties. We have 15 years. And if you look at the numbers, violence amongst teenagers is down lower than it has ever been. Do you really want the United States Congress making this decision for you? Because the truth of the matter is, children don't have access to, to, to video game violence anyway. They cannot purchase an M-rated game. They cannot purchase a mature game, a Peggy 16 game. The parent has access to those. And that becomes your parent's decision or your decision when you're a parent. Do you really want to run the risk of Congress taking that option away from you? Because the truth of the matter is, I don't think it's dangerous. But even if it is, it should still be your choice. So I want to ask a favor of you. If you are a United States citizen and you are concerned about this as well as I am, I've listed below a link for you to find your congressman and write them. You could tell them that you don't appreciate this kind of legislation. You can appreciate that you can tell them that you don't appreciate Congress being the ones to make this kind of decision for you. You don't appreciate this knee-jerk reaction that they're having to the shooting and you don't want to see your civil liberties specifically ones that affect your way of life and your entertainment choices being brought about because of the shooting. If you disagree with me, though, I don't write anybody, or you could write them and tell them to go ahead. Uh, that's okay, too. But if you do disagree with me, I'd love to see your comment in the box below and tell me why I'm wrong. Because I, even this is just my opinion. I'm no expert. I'm just some guy. And, and maybe you have an opinion, too, and I'd love to hear it. And maybe we'll agree, maybe we'll agree to disagree, but in the end, maybe we can learn something from each other, and that would be the most valuable thing to come out of all of this. But until next time, let me ask a favor of you. Take care of yourself. If you're depressed, if you're angry, if you have anxiety, please seek the professional help that's out there that you could use. And, and take care of the people around you. Take care of the people you love, because you never know. You never know, they could be gone in an instant.